Hey everyone, Mick with Regen EVs here. Last video I was getting a baseline status for the 2011 Nissan LEAF that I picked up at an insurance auction for cheap. I'll be dismantling that LEAF in this video. Jumping right in by removing the dash. I've already pulled most of the interior to make it easier to get to the important stuff. The dash wiring harness comes right out, but there are a lot of components, so be careful and label everything. The steering mechanism is something I want to integrate into the next project, so I'm pulling that as well as the pedal assembly. Jumping to the rear, the black box is the capacitor bank, and the charger is on the left. In order to get the main harness out, the leaf has got to go up. Once the aero splash shield is removed, you can see the battery high voltage cables as well as the communication cables I'm pulling now. Make sure that the safety disconnect is pulled before messing with the battery. It's best to have leather outer gloves to protect high voltage safety gloves, but I can't seem to find mine. Now I'm breaking the bolts that hold the battery to the chassis, lowering the lead. Magically, the battery is separated. Now that the battery is out, I'm able to pull the rear harness, which includes the charger and the capacitor wiring. This interior harness is truly a beast. Now I'm collecting the coolant that remains in the charger lines. And now the 3.3 kW charger can be removed. Now time to remove the drive unit. Start by pulling the fans and the radiator. Disconnecting 12 volt battery wiring and pulling the long charger wiring out. So to get these off, you can undo this little plate, undo the bolts, holding the three large wires, but I kind of wanted to take a look in here anyway. Pretty neat. Once the high voltage junction box and inverter are removed, we can get to all the other various cabling. The leaf goes back up so the drive unit bolts can be loosened. And then back down. And slowly but surely, the drive unit drops right out. Now it's time to remove the engine room wiring and the main computer, which feeds through the firewall. Once that's out of the way, I'm using the plasma cutter to salvage the mounting surface for the pedal assembly and create a hole to pull the AC evaporator. The AC system is pulled fully intact, and the refrigerant can be taken to be evacuated. Now let's jump to a closer look at the battery. Alright, gonna take the top off of this battery pack. Start with the security bolts. This is a an 11 so... It has these security bolts on them. The newer ones don't have that. Okay, now I'm going to take the 32 bolts out of the side.
very nice rubber grommet. I wish they were all like this. There we go. I think we have 24 there and 24 distributed among these two groups, or I guess four groups. It stinks that I waited till winter to edit this video because uh, now the front drive unit is snowy and you can't really see too much of what's going on, but there's the gear reduction transmission. It's not really a transmission, but gear reduction with the axle outputs there. We have the motor. We have the park lock there, the parking pole. And the uh, three phase high voltage cables that go up to the to the high voltage junction box. Anyway, this is the front drive unit. Wish it was a better view, but that's all I have for right now. Here's a little sneak peek at the next project: a 1971 VW Fastback that I'm dubbing the Fast Leaf. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned. It's about to get a lot more fun.